This space is going to be meant to represent a frozen battlefield with rows of downtrodden wheat stubble. First we'll apply the super glue. This is super glue gel. Regular super glue will capillary up between the hairs and make a mess, so make sure you use the gel. Here we'll loop the, uh, the grass and uh, cut it in the middle of the loop. To, uh, that way we're not wasting as much grass. Then just cut the end evenly and uh, take about a third at a time. Spread it between your fingers and then just put it down and press it down firmly into the super glue. Here I'm using Woodland Scenic's Natural Straw Field Grass. It'll stand up nice and straight in that uh, gel for you. You can just use a, a thin craft stick or a similar item to uh, arrange uh, the grass the way you want it. It all looks good. Just uh, give it a shot of a zip kicker. Then you want to trim the, uh, the top of the hairs uh, roughly even. You want a little bit of uh, a little bit of non-uniformity there, but. You still want it to look like stubble, so it would have it originally been cut pretty much the same length, and then it's been. You want it to appear like it's been, uh, you know, stomped on and, and walked through, so we'll make it look a little disheveled there. Yeah, just use a craft brush to brush it off and brush off the loose hairs. It's okay to have some uh, extra hair stuck to it, of course, because you know that it's going to be covered with gesso anyway. Now just make sure everything's the way trimmed up nicely. Then I'll apply the gesso. Now I got out of the shot here coming up, uh, applying most of the gesso unfortunately, so I apologize for that. And you can just use a, a thin craft stick again uh, to bevel the edges at 45 and just trim the, wipe off the edges with your fingers. It's not gonna, that works perfectly fine. Then you wanna singe the hairs with a lighter. What that does, um, it shrivels and curls them, makes them look withered and dead and frozen. It looks uh, much better than a uh, perfectly straight stalks uh, for this frozen damaged battlefield. Then you just use the tip of a paintbrush and uh, make your wheel ruts and your footprints and other uh, areas where uh, the snow has been disturbed. Now see, you see when you put the gesso on, you don't want to do it like a like you're making a ship model where everything's nice and pointy. You want to round off the raised edges, but still if you want to disturb you, you want to have a lot of different different texturing on there. Now I'm just going to use that brown paint and, uh, and paint the areas where the uh, the uh, soil is showing through the, the disturbed snow. Just use the brown paint. You can see the footprints and maybe somewhere where a guy went down on a knee or fell down and then the, the wheel right there on the edge. Then just use that yellowish tan color uh, to highlight the uh, the the, uh, the brown, after that, we'll just make a wash out of the original, the first brown paint. We use the darker brown color and put it around the uh, disturbed areas. Once we do that, just uh, touch up with white areas not covered by the gesso or uh, areas that got too much brown paint. And also, this is where I'll go ahead and paint white around the uh, edges of the base. Here's the snow. This is Techstar snowflakes, which are uh, micro balls of silicate. Uh, you can't just use this stuff by itself because it'll get everywhere. Uh, so what I do, I mix it with isopropyl alcohol. Uh, I mix it up and uh, then just uh, set it aside and let it gel for a few minutes. 
Meanwhile, I'll take some light blue paint, blue paint that you see here, and I uh, touch the raised areas uh, from one of the snow from one direction only. Because uh, you know, shadows and snow are, are blue. And if the sun's out, you're going to have shadows because the sun's always fairly low on the horizon in the winter time. So just touch them for uh, light the uh, the sides of the raised area in light blue, then spin it around after you're done here and uh, 180 degrees look at it from the other end and uh as you'll see here in a minute and that that'll uh and you just make sure that you spin it and you make sure you can't see any any blue from the other direction if you do you just touch it up here with white as i'm doing see so to the point where you don't see any more blue then that'll give you your nice shadowing now apply the uh, snow gel you see it's nice and thick now. Just use a flat tip brush. I'm going to put it on a little thicker around the disturbed areas. And I put it nice and thick around the, to the sides of that the wheel right there. Let's make sure you get good coverage. And the effect I'm looking for here is like there was a thin layer of snow and then maybe you had a little bit of a, a little bit of a thaw and then it froze again overnight so you got kind of a you know a crust of sparkly looking ice over the top of the snow which by the second day might be starting to melt again so you're getting nice slushy areas where the where the men and, and wagons and things are rolling past again and and then uh, Along on the other edge, you still got the, uh, the ice. So here you can see, you also hit the plants there, the, the stalks from the bottoms up, uh, like they they were all frozen together. And then you can you can also touch the tops of the plants a little, just a little tad. Then you want to take that yellow paint there, uh, the golden yellow, and just uh, hit the hairs where the, where there's still just the natural hair, the natural straw colored hair. Go ahead and paint those up. Just to make them stand out a little more, give it, give it a little more color. Now, after this point, I would I would uh, let this dry for several hours and then give it a coat of flat, clear spray to seal it. Uh, but I'm skipping that step here for the purposes of demonstration. So I'm just checking it, make sure I got good coverage, make sure everything looks like I want it to. Now I uh, just take regular super glue, not gel, but just regular thin super glue and apply it randomly, scattered about the base. Then take your, your clear glitter and give it, give the, uh, the top of the base a nice, nice complete coverage there. A clear glitter onto the super glue and just turn it over and tap off the excess. The glitter gives you a nice sparkle like you would see on a uh, the snow that's got you know, a nice crust of ice on it. You can see there as I spin it, it's, it uh, sparkled nicely and here you have the, uh, the final product and that's it. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye.